Hello guys, Neil again from uh, River Piker. Um, going to do another uh, River Piker short for you today. Just had another three weeks of lockdown confirmed, so um, good time to, to do some more videos. Um, we're all sat at home, so good to watch, good to talk through laws when we can't fish them. Um, it, it gives us something to work on. Um, today I'm going to talk about perch laws. Um, on Facebook we have a group called River Pikers if you're not already part of it. Um, you know, give us a shout and join up. There's a lot of experienced predator anglers on there, plenty of um, information going round. So, uh, if you're not already in that group, join up. Send us a send us a request and we'll, we'll drop you on. Um, so we, we were talking about PBs over the Easter weekend. Um, perch PBs came up, and uh, I got asked a question by Andrew Alexander about what methods I use for catching perch. Um, all my perch fishing is done on lows, um, so today I'm going to talk to you about some of the lows that I'll use um, on a regular basis. We also talked about tracers, so I'll cover tracers for perch as well. So uh, this is that uh, video on, on perch lows. Um, like and subscribe if you can. Uh, it's always uh, appreciated that you, you're enjoying what we're doing. Okay, so I'm in my garage today um, and I store most of my perch lows in this big box. Um, this is not a box I'd take out fishing with me, it's far too big for that, but for, for storage in your garage and, and general storage, keeping your loads together and, and out of arm's way, a really good storage system. If I were out and about, I'd probably take something like that, I mean that's got a load of plastics in it, but that'd be perfect size. Um, so, my top shelf, is it, it, these are bigger loads, there's all sorts of stuff in here, some um, propeller tail dancers. The bigger ones and there's a super shell graph, all sorts of bits and bobs in there. Uh, my perch loads are basically the bottom three drawers, so we'll have a look through. And these are common loads that I'll use uh, when I'm out on boat or when I'm on canals, rivers, that kind of things. Um, Favourite, this one's not in there, but the old Rapala X, this is the uh, jointed shad wrap, sorry. Um, that's a 7cm one, fire tiger flavour. We'll take that one with me, that comes out a lot. Um, what else have I got in here? Got some straight shad wraps, again in 7cm, and again in Fire Tiger. And a blue one as well, one of the clear coloured ones. You can see that. Plenty of shad wraps, I've got loads in here. Um, all different colours, clown, hot tiger, natural colours as well. Um, also we've got some smaller ones, so that's a five centimetre jointed shad wrap and a, I think that's a four and a half straight and that's steel lead that's a good colour um, got these little salmos that I've got recently um, I think these are deep diving on it look at lip on that one that'll get down on river when we're trolling that'll troll really well I've got a couple of them take them out this summer a couple of other um, a couple of other salmos here these are the, the, the long salmon, I forget what they're called. Have a look, it might tell me. No, it just says salmon. I think the salmon minnows actually. A couple of them. Always good for a fish or two. Um, what else have I got? Ah, bombers. I do love bomber lows. Um, they're more of an American thing. But these are, um, I think these are the bomber A. These are the uh, good for trolling. Um, that's a 7A and these are 5As. You see they're all tangled up, which is always good. A um, couple of Matt Holmes custom smaller crankbaits. I've got a few of them. What Matt made for me years back. And just see tucked in there. That's a husky jerk. I think that's an 8cm husky jerk. Um, X wraps. We've got a couple of. Shallow, I think these are the Mick Brown ones, X-Rap Shads. And then we've got a, a 6 centimetre uh, deeper diving one. They're good, good, pick up lots of perch. Um, obviously, got some soft loads. We've got a Pepito uh, motor oil colour, Baby Shark Shad. Again, similar kind of colours really. Um, a 2 inch copy toe, they were all 4 inch loads. Um, two inch copy toe there, and then another two inch copy toe, that's a lovely little colour, like a yellow and green, that's on a, a five, five grand you get. That's a, 
a gunky smell like aniseed. I love smelling soft lows and that's on like a 10-15 grams you get. I get I think bought them for Spain so they do get down a lot deeper. Move down one, still more shad wraps, I've got a storm thunder stick. Was it thunder crank that one I think? Parlor again, that's a Risto wrap, that's in my favourite bait fish colour. Um, another small jointed Rapala Shad wrap, another bomber, that's a square here, that's a brilliant chub low. Um, more of Matt's stuff, um, some original floating and husky jerks, Rapalas, more bombers in here. These uh, bomber fat, fat free fingerling they're called. It's a great name. Love white as well. It's another good colour. I've got another another bait fish coloured one in there. See that one's been absolutely battered. Not damage on that. Pike love that. They just absolutely devour it. Um, couple of the small surface loads, jitter bug, and I've got a uh, crazy crawler in there. And these um, these little Rapala rattling um, rattling lures, rattle taps I think they're called. And then a load of plastics. I like these. These are Fox Cannibal Shads, uh, Savage Gear Cannibal Shads. I like Cannibal Shads. I have my PB perch on a Cannibal Shad, four pound one ounce, on that size as well. Uh, a couple of spinners in here, small copy toes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Mex number three in copper. Had my uh, PB chub on that, a six pound chub on that low. Drop down again. And um, these are the some deeper diving cranks at the bottom here. So I've got things like Rapala DTs. That's a DT16 or DT14. Sorry, in like a perch colour. Nice low. A seven centimetre deep tail dancer. Tail dancers are brilliant. And this is. Uh, this gets down, I think this is a H, HRT low, that's a chub colour. Um, I think they sell them on Sovereign Super Baits, they're really good lows, they're not too expensive either. Um, another deep diving, I think they're from uh, Sovereign as well. More bombers. Man's 30 plus, tiny little low but gets right down. Something different, change of depth, change. Salmo perch, um, more Rapalas, Rapala fat wrap. That's an interesting one. It's a Abu High Low. The old Abu High Lows where you can change the um, the depth. I've had that low years. That's probably one of the first lows I ever bought when I was a kid. Um, so that's a full selection of what's in my box. Um, obviously plastics, fish a lot of plastics as well, that's a, uh, that's a four inch uh, McRubber, motor oil colour, with motor oil colour, more of the shark shads in red, just just mixing it up, my old favourite, that's a two and a half inch copy toe, or is it two inch, uh, three inch copy toe in white, best colour going, five grams you get, brilliant canal low, pick loads of perch up on them. I'm moving on to uh, clips and tracers. Um, must add stay locks, always good. These are size three um, for perch. You could probably get away with a size two, to be fair. But size threes are not—they're not too big. I don't know if you better see that, but they're not too big. You get away with that, um, but you, you, you would better use a size two. If I, were, if I were expecting perch and pike for trolling and things like that, I'd go with a size 3, it'd be a little bit safer. But especially for jig fishing, I've been using um, these Gemini Genie clips. I think they call them snoods. Um, they're really light and they're really fast to change, especially for jigs. Never had one open on me. These are really small ones, these are just for perch fishing. For pike fishing I have some heavier duty ones. Um, I don't know if it tells you what size of these are. It don't, but you see around there's, there's better, di different size ones knocking about. And um, for my wire, um, 
used easy twist, Fox easy twist, so this is like seven strand seal wire. Um, really light, really good and, and light and visibly not, not massively. It was in £20 for perch, £30 if I'm if I'm thinking maybe trolling and I'm going to pick up from pike and what have you. Um, just twist them, you know, make your own tracers, twisting. Loads of videos on the internet about twisting your own tracers. Um, cheap and cheerful. Uh, and I've been using this Cahera that this is titanium and um, this is light, this is only £21 super light super thin I don't even think you better see that but um, and especially if you're picking up pike so if you are trolling up river and you're going to pick up a lot of pike it, it, it's good for um, not getting twisted up, not getting bent and stuff like that it just takes a lot more hammer that's why we use titanium, it's a lot more robust um, that's just a, a pretty quick run through um, covered a lot of lows there you don't need to buy every low um, buy a small selection learn how they work you know there's just some deep diving stuff there that won't work on your canals for example if you're fishing a canal you don't need any of the deep stuff stick with the, the smaller lips on the front on the crankbaits it's a nice small selection of uh, jigs in two three four inch and you're good to go but there's all sorts there loads of info it's just a bit of a what's in the box keep us all occupied so just a few final words on perch fishing um, Andrew also asked me about the, the fluorocarbon versus um, versus wire. He asked me if I ever use fluorocarbon. Um, in my case, I never use fluorocarbon for perch fishing. Uh, the venues that I fish all contain pipe pretty much. Um, and with the breakage drains of line that I'm using for perch fishing, uh, equivalent fluorocarbon just wouldn't be toothproof. Um, and the the really good quality light titanium that you can get these days it's it's thin enough and I don't for one minute think that perch care about it I've had perch on 100 pound titanium leaders for pike so I'm quite happy with the wire leaders and I don't think there's any need to use fluorocarbon in, in the venues that I fish um, so just to wrap up Paul's previously done some perch videos on his um, lures that he uses, techniques that he uses and I'll get him to put some links up somewhere around here um, and also uh, some links for the uh, making the titanium wire tracers that Paul's done previously. Um, so in a nutshell that's it for perch, um, we'll see if we if you've got any questions or if there's anything else that you think we haven't covered then let us know and we'll, we'll knock something else up. Thanks guys, stay safe.